welcome guys to my new video today i'm here with a video a lot of you guys requested for a lot of you guys asked me in the comment section father joe is there any way to fix a phone that is not charging whenever you turn on the phone okay this video will help you solve the issue so without time wasted let me start the video right in my hands you can see i'm with honor phone engineers check this out this is honor phone check this out engineers check this out if i turn this side right here you will see here we have huawei some people call huawei some people call huawei engineers the method i'm going to show you will work on all types of phone it is not only this type of phone engineers first of all let me try to power the phone on it is not booting i think the battery is low let me connect charger let me connect charger the battery is low check this out engineers let me plug the charger now engineers check this out let me charge now engineers please wait please wait check this out it boots or no engineers i just noticed something this phone supposed to show charging not booting up directly let's wait and see something engineers please wait let me see what the phone will do engineers you can see that the phone just boot directly something is wrong with this phone definitely something is wrong you can see right here the battery percentage is two percent and the phone is not showing charging but the charger is blocking check this out engineers this is the problem of the phone this phone is not showing charging whenever you plug the charger engineers this happens especially when the phone is on like this it is not showing charging you may think it is charging port it is not charging port it is not charging port so let me show you how to fix it without time wasted let me start and show you the full process how you can be able to fix this engineers before showing you how to fix it let me still prove to you that this phone is not charging whenever this phone is on it's not charging at all so check this out so let me plug charger check this out the phone will boot automatically again you can see the phone just boot again which means that something is wrong something is wrong engineers check this out it's booting please let's wait let's wait please please let's wait okay check this out before remember it was two percent now it is thirty percent check this out but it's not charging it's not charging i just disconnected now the phone is not noticing anything whether the charger is connected or not engineers let me show you how you can easily fix it so let me start now my name is father joe i am the entrepreneur of father joe phone repairs we admitted four new engineers to work for us and their duty is to respond to chats to messages this is only on whatsapp for now we are slowly rolling out this to Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and other platforms. Just please wait. We recommend you should wait. We are working tirelessly to make sure everything is okay. So if you have questions, you can ask me in the comment section. If you have any question concerning chat, reply, anything at all, you are free to ask in the comment section. Engineer, someone asked me in the comment section. Why is it that you like posting buttons phone and android phone what about iphone are you able to work iphone can you work iphone okay and i answered yes i can work iphone but listen to me not as if i i would not like to post iphone but trust me everything gonna be all right i'll be posting iphone very soon Engineers, for those of you who could not be able to join my training, please, there's still a chance. You can go to my YouTube channel and become a member of my channel. Become a member, join the channel so that you'll be watching most of my secret videos. It is important that you join so that you'll be watching more of my secret videos. That's all. Thank you. Engineers, the first thing now is for me to remove all the bolts in this phone. Take time to do it. Do not rush. Engineers, feel free to ask me any question in the comment section if you have. The next thing now is for me to keep the bolt in one place. It is important that you have to do it. 
right in my hand you can see i'm with speaker this speaker is not working so i use the magnet to grab all the bolts perfectly i keep it in one place it is important that you do this for you to safeguard all the bolts not to lose them engineers right now you have to be very careful because you have to open the phone so you have to be very careful take time to do it beware of flex make sure you do not cut any flex make sure you use your phone opener for me i like using my nails so that is why i keep my nails because my nails i use it to open the phone and a whole lot of things it works for me perfectly engineers take time to do it do not rush check this out i'm done i'm done opening the phone you can see just remove the cover now check this out engineers so the first thing i start looking for physical damage just remove sim card now so i start looking for physical damage you know it is very, very important you start looking for physical damage because there may be a physical damage and from there you you just get the knowledge from there then you figure out to know okay this thing is the problem right okay check this out so i first look for physical damage i check everywhere in case i see any physical damage okay so this is battery i disconnect battery so I remove the battery. I turn around to check if there is any physical damage. So I continue checking for physical damage. Okay, since there's no physical damage in this side, so disconnect the screen. And let me remove the panel from this casing. Engineers take time to do it. It's not a rushing work because for you to trace out to know the problem, why this phone is not charging whenever it is on it is not showing charging it is not an easy thing so you have to take time to do it so i first of all check here because charging port might be one of the problem right so i first of all check in case there is a shot there's a bridge so i check i did not see any bridge i check all of these components especially the ntc i also took the battery to check to be sure nothing is wrong okay i check very well i check the ntc pins the v bats positive and negative so i carry the panel and examine again i check very well engineers after checking i was confused so i have to turn on my phone camera and i zoom this charging port place right i zoom it to be sure that all of the pins are on their own check this out engineers after checking i discovered that none of the pin is short is bridge so i have to brush this place i have to use my brush to brush it very well check this out so i brush it very well because i want this place to be very clean so i brush it very well check this out engineers I look the whole panel there's no physical damage so i have to check this charging port place that's number one you have to check this after that i view the panel using my phone camera so i zoom to see all of these small small resistors check this out check this out i check all of these small small components including the sockets i check them there's no physical damage especially the battery connector after i view the panel using my phone camera so I decided to view the battery especially the battery head which is this battery bms connector check this out i view this using my phone camera i zoom it very well to view because i want to be sure nothing is wrong here so i saw that white thing so decided to brush it with my brush check this out i take my time to brush it because i want that white thing to be out because that small thing can cause error so decided to use my tweezers to do it i carefully do it engineers i take my time to make sure i clean that white thing i take time to do it check this out i use my brush i brush it again take time to do it because i want that white thing to be out so check this out i finally clean the white thing check this out i finally clean the white thing 
and let me fix the phone to see if it will work check this out so this is the panel of the phone so let me fix it to see if it will work engineers i'm fixing now i will soon be done okay i'm done now so let me plug charger to see if it will work check this out engineers Ha! Ah, it's showing on and it's booting now which means it does not work engineers it does not work the owner of this phone said that so many engineers try working this phone they could not work it they could not fix the issue so he brought the phone here he's sitting down outside waiting for me and i want to make sure i fix this phone today he saw my post online so he contacted me and he finally bring the phone to me and i don't want him to go without me fixing this phone so let me try again and see if i'll be able to fix this phone i want to make sure i fix this phone today if not it is not good if not it is not good okay my first method fell and let me try the second one sure sure i'll be able to fix this okay so decided to plug charger remove battery then plug the battery you can see it's still doing the same thing so now let me start troubleshooting let me start to troubleshoot like i said a good engineer who know how to troubleshoot will definitely find the problem of a phone so now let me start troubleshoot let me apply the methods i have in my brain so that i'll be able to fix this issue Right here, you can see it's showing 40%. Whereas it's not showing charging, you're showing 40%. And when I unplug, the phone will go low and off. But the phone is not showing charging. Engineers, let me start troubleshooting because I want to make sure I fix this phone. I am Father Joe, so I cannot leave this phone without fixing. So let me start troubleshooting. Engineers, watch this video, don't skip so that you will learn a lot. So after i remove the battery i remove the panel from the casing i take time to do it because i want to start troubleshooting now i want to test component i want to test battery component ntc everything on this phone so that i'll be able to know where the problem is it is important for you to troubleshoot so that you will know where the problem is so let me begin troubleshooting watch this don't skip don't go anywhere you can buy popcorn buy drink buy food relax watch this video so that you will see how i'll be able to fix this phone watch out engineers my first troubleshooting here is battery i want to make sure i test the battery to be sure of the output voltage i want the output voltage to be accurate that means 4.2 which is fully charged or 3.8 is okay but I want to make sure i have a good output voltage from this battery so i place my multimeter probe to test engineers right here you can see half minus 3.9 3.8 this means that i'm not placing my multimeter well right that means i'm placing my negative of my multimeter to the positive of the battery so that's why it's showing minus so i decided to arrange the, the probe very well then i i test it again right now you can see there's no minus which means positive is connected to the positive while the negative is also connected to the negative negative. and you can use this to know the positive side of the battery and the negative side of the battery right here you can see it's showing 3.9 4.1 3.9 4.3 something right this my multimeter is not really good but trust me the reading i'm seeing on my multimeter screen is good that means the battery is giving out good voltage but something is wrong let me open the battery to check if there's anything wrong with the battery bms and i will also need to bypass the fuse resistor using jumper wire it is important engineers right here i have discovered an error check this out check this out this is the problem of this phone let me zoom so you can see better right here you can see this is the problem of this phone there's a rust here that cuts the ntc line have you seen there's a rust here that cuts the ntc line 
and this place here is very hidden it is very hard for you to detect this error the ntc here is not connected so let me peel off this engineers take time to do it it is very simple just take time to do it check this out take time to do it engineers right here we have fuse resistor this is fuse resistor check this out this is fuse resistor so what i'm going to do now i'm going to first of all remove this fuse resistor and bypass it using jumper wire for me to do this perfectly i need to scratch it I need to scratch you can use your sharp object or your tweezers to scratch it take time to do this engineers you may ask father joe why do you want to bypass this fuse resistor engineers if you can remember when i plug charger to this phone the phone boots up and show 30 percent sometimes 40 percent and when i unplug the charger the phone will now reduce the percent to two percent and before you know the phone is shutting down so i had to do this to be sure i get the accurate voltage and amps you may ask father joe what do you put on top of this fuse resistor this is soda paste so i put soda paste the liquid one liquid soda paste engineers let me remove the fuse resistor now check this out check this out here we go check this out very simple very simple check this out so the next thing now is for me to put a jumper wire i need to bypass it with jumper wire please let the wire be small check this out let me put my own make sure you take time to do this check this out i'm done engineers check this out i'm done now this is the fuse resistor so let me put the tape and cover the battery then i will connect the ntc and i will fix it after that i'm very sure everything will work okay check this out engineers let me now do jumper so that's i'll connect everything check this out engineers Jay, unbelievable the flex just cut out hey <laughs> Jay, 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 Jay. engineers i will start afresh because the flex just cut i will start afresh i need to do a very serious work here for me to be able to connect the flex back oh okay let me start you know a good engineer must uh suffer to get what he or she wants so then the first thing here is for me to remove this battery bms from this battery so put late take time to do this it's very simple take time to do this engineers so make sure that you remove this back tape so that you can remove the bms take time to do it engineers no rushing okay let me remove it now here we go no time wasted here we go check this out if you have question you are free to ask me in the comment section if you have you're always free to ask me a question in the comment section I just remove the battery bms now check this out so now what i need to do now is for me to find the ntc battery id and negative i need to find three pins and they are very very important ntc battery id and battery negative you can see there's no place for me to lay the thing just cut off from the battery bms and i don't have another one i need to make sure i fix this phone the owner is sitting down outside waiting for me 
you know, you guys understand what I'm trying to say. Engineers, the next thing now is for me to put the battery back. Since there's no place for me to lay it, you have to be very, very careful. Check this out. You have to be very, very careful. Do not allow it to touch any small, small resistor or component there. Be very careful. Check this out. Let me carry this up because I don't want it to touch that IC. Okay, the next thing now is for me to let it. I need to let it. Let me let it now. Engineers, feel free to ask me a question in the comment section if you have. Feel free to ask me. I'm letting now. Check this out, engineers. Check this out. Take time to let it. Okay, I'm done. So the next thing now is for me to trace out to find out where I can get the battery NTC, battery ID, and battery negative. So let me show you how to easily find where all of these are. So without time wasted, let me show you. Engineers, for you to be able to know where the battery NTC is, make sure you place the positive of your multimeter probe to the positive while you place the negative of your multimeter probe to a resistor or there is a place on the battery bms that indicates that the resistor is giving out voltage to output engineers for you to easily identify ntc it is very simple first of all place the positive of your multimeter probe to the battery positive and also place the negative of your multimeter probe to a resistor. After placing the negative of your multimeter probe to a resistor or to the place I talked about, you can easily use your hand to touch the probe. Touching the probe means to touch the ion part of it. When you touch, you will notice that the voltage will be dropping. You can see before I have 3.9, 4.1, 4.2, but now you can see when I place it, the voltage drops, right? Let me use this battery to show you example of what I'm saying. Let me teach you now. Check this out, engineers. Right here, this is ITL battery, and let me test it for you guys to see that this battery is 100% working, nothing's wrong. I want to test it and show you how you can easily identify NTC. You can see this battery is working and it's booting on this phone. And I will test the voltage inside this battery for you guys to see. So let me test it now. Check this out, engineers. Right here, you can see we have 4.0, 3.9, 4.0, 3.9. And let me place the negative of my multimeter probe to the negative, which is the NTC. Then I'll place the positive of my multimeter probe to the positive. Right there, you can see that the voltage drops. Check this out. The voltage drops. We've seen to 2.1. You can see that the voltage drops. And if I remove my hand now, let me remove. You can see that the voltage increased to its normal voltage. And now let me do it again. Check this out. You can see that the voltage drops. You may ask for a job, why is the voltage dropping? This is because NTC use very small, very small amount of amps. So that is why the voltage drops. It is for data, right? The NTC is for data, it's for sharing information between the IC and the CPU. They, have, they share information. So let me test it with another battery for you guys to see. Just want to prove to you guys that this is real, that I'm not posting fake video. Check this out. You can see 3.9 and let me place. Here we go. You can see 2.8, 2 point something, 2 point something. Guys, you can see that even the next battery that I bring is still giving the same thing, right? So this is how you can easily no NTC in a battery. Now, let me connect the NTC and also the battery ID. Engineers, let me show you something. This is the battery connector that cuts. This is the battery connector that takes voltage from the BMS to the battery connector of the phone. Check this out. This is the one that cuts. So what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to scratch it, then do jumper. Engineers, right here, we have small dots here. Let me show you. This is battery minus. 
engineer so let me show you how to connect it now okay so let me start engineers like i said use jumper wire make sure you use jumper wire check this out engineers engineers before i proceed let me show you something right here we have two dots this first one is ntc this second one is battery id and this one right here is battery minus so let me connect to ntc first then i'll connect battery id and battery minus you may ask father joe why are you not connecting from the negative that comes out from the battery i say no the answer is no do not instead look for battery minus so that in case there is anything that happens inside the panel of the phone so that it will not cause a spark or destroying the panel so it is very very important that you connect from the battery minus you may ask father joe why is it really important that we need to connect it from the battery minus yes we need to connect it from the battery minus that comes out from the ic because the phone might get shot inside like the panel or anything inside the phone panel could be component might get shot or capacitor so when this voltage returns to the battery the negative will do what the negative will shut down the ic that control the output voltage of the negative will do what will shut down and it will save the battery life will shut down to do what to save the battery life engineers the next thing now is for you to use a sharp object to scratch this scratch this till the copper comes out right here you can see i'm done so take time to do this engineers make sure you scratch this other side too take time to do it engineers make sure you scratch it so let me do it take time to do it engineers no rushing if you have questions let me know in the comment section if you have engineers please like i said take time to do this take time to do this engineers no rushing check this out i'm done scratching the next thing now is for me to apply lead then apply my jumper wire i'll let it very well so take time to do this engineers take time to do this feel free to ask me a question in the comment section if you have feel free to ask me a question in the comment section if you have Check this out, engineers. No rushing. Check this out. Take time to do this. No rushing. Make sure that the lid is connected very normal. Do it in this side. Okay. Engineers, the next thing now is for you to connect your jumper wire. Take time to do this, connect your jumper wire, check my own. Very simple, take time to do this. Check this out, I just connected the two sides. Check this out, it's very simple. Make sure you apply lead on the surface of the wire. Take time to do this, no rushing. Engineers, check this out, this is how it is. You can see I zoom it with my phone camera. Check this out, make sure you zoom to check. If it is short or bridge, check this out. Make sure you arrange everything. Take time to do it. Right here you can see, let me arrange this place. Take time to do it, engineers. You can see, oh, one leg cuts. When this happens, do not worry. Let me bring my sweating iron to lead it again. Here we go. Check this out. Very simple. Check this out. Very simple. No stress. If you have any question, let me know in the comment section if you have. Check this out, engineers. So let me fix it now. Let me connect this to the battery BMS. Very simple. No time wasted. Okay. Engineers, so let me connect it now to the battery BMS. Let me disconnect this face wire. 
Let me disconnect this one. Okay. So let me connect this one now. But before I connect, let me cut the excess wire. Check this out. Connect it here. And I connect it here. Check this out. Okay, before you connect engineers, please confirm the NTC. Confirm the NTC, which is very simple. Just confirm how the connection was before, and that's it. Check this out, engineers. The next thing now is for me to put glue. I just put glue now. I'm putting glue to hold the wire very well. Because if not, if I don't put glue, the thing will cut. So I'm putting glue now to hold the wire very well. The next thing now is for me to connect positive and negative. So let me bring wire so that I will connect positive and negative. Engineers, check this out. Make sure you use a good wire. Check my own. You can see. I'm putting glue now so that it can hold this. Make sure you put glue to hold everything. Check my red wire. You can see how it is. Make sure that you use a wire that can carry enough arms. Check this out. Let me connect it to positive. Okay. Let me connect negative. Check this out, engineers. Okay, so let me close the battery. If you have question, please feel free to ask me question if you have. Ask me question if you have, please. Check this out, engineers. So let me connect negative now. Okay, check this out, engineers. Let me connect negative so that I will test it and confirm if it will work. If not working, I'll find another way to make sure this phone works. Check this out. Just make sure you put lid on the wire surface and connect it. Connect it. Take time to do this, engineers. You don't have to rush. Just take time to do this. It will be done. Okay. I'm done now. Check this out. I'm done now. Positive is connected. NTC and battery ID is connected. Now, let me fix the phone. Let me test it and see if it will work. If not working, that means I have to find another way to make sure this phone works. Here we go. So let me plug it. Okay. I pray let it work. So let me plug charger now. Check this out, engineers. Just plug charger now. Let me see if it will on automatically. You can see it works. Engineers, it works. It works. It works. It works. It works hundred percent. Check this out. It works hundred percent. Yes, I like telling you guys time with that number. Make sure you check NTC because a lot of people don't know this. Some some phone batteries have battery ID and NTC. Make sure you check both of them. Make sure you check both of them. Do not only focus on NTC. Make sure you also check battery ID. You can see the red uh, uh, light that shows that it is charging now. It is no more on automatically. It is charging now. This is to prove that the problem of this phone was from battery. And a lot of engineers tried to fix the issue. They could not fix it. Right now, you can see it was 24. Now it is 25%. The charging speed is very fast and everything is working perfectly. Let me turn on the phone for you guys to see. You can see on all power by Android. Guys, if you have questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section. 
right now i just let the owner know that the phone works the guy is very very happy right now <laughs> i don't want to show the guy face but the guy is very very happy he's sitting outside waiting for me let me do so that i can fix the phone you can see now that we have 25 percent you can see that it's charging now just turn on the phone now you can see it's charging everything works perfectly you can see the red light that shows it is charging before it was not showing now you can see i unplug it too now let me plug it now check this out check this out it has started charging again you can see it's 100 percent working and the light red light here starts showing you can see now it works check the red light here guys if you have any question ask me in the comment section i'll be very happy to see your question check this out so let me fix the phone let me couple the phone for the owner i don't want to waste time let me couple the phone for the owner no time wasted okay let me bring the bolts check this out the bolts i remove let me put all of them let me put all of them let me just take time to do this i'm done let me put all the bolts guys i'm very happy i'm very happy seriously i'm very very happy i'm very happy so engineers take notes always check ntc battery id the problem of the phone might be from there it is very important especially when the phone is not charging okay guys i'm done this is the phone i'm done with fixing everything and guys check this out let me plug the charger again okay let me turn on the phone you can see honor powered by android let me keep the phone to boot and finish then i'll plug charger for you guys to see once more before i hand over the phone to the owner mm, the owner is very very happy i don't know how much the owner will give me i don't know how much the owner will give me the owner is very happy because they have tried to work this thing no it's no it's not working now i fix it so let me plug charger now here we go you can see is um i think it's 33 percent let me plug charger check this out it's charging it's charging you can see it's charging now it's charging you can see the lights check this out <laughs> thank you guys for watching and see you in my next video coming very soon i love you guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos if you're watching me from facebook don't forget to follow me for more videos thank you for watching i'm father joe bye bye for now